TJ Technologies is proud to sponsor today's Farm Basics. Micronutrients are essential for healthy and productive growth in lawns, gardens, and crops. Check us out at tjmicromix.com because it's the little things that make a big difference. One of the most important things you need to do on your farm when you're out harvesting is properly spread that residue behind because what happens is if you don't, you're going to have streaks out in your field like one of the streaks that I'm standing in right now. Well, you know, people think, well, this is just a corn thing. If I'm not a corn farmer, it's not that big a deal. Wrong answer. It doesn't matter if it's wheat or soybeans, whatever the case may be, spreading that residue out evenly gives your next crop the best chance to compete. Because with all plants, whether it's your lawn or your garden or a row crop or any crop that we're talking about, every plant needs an equal chance to survive. Otherwise, you end up with this unevenness out in your field that you really never recover from. Okay, so if you're a non-farmer, you're probably saying, what's all this residue? Why is all the residue left and everything? I thought you were harvesting the crop. Well, like with corn and soybeans and wheat, for example, all three of those crops, in most cases, we aren't taking the whole plant. All we're taking is the grain, just the seed. It's a tiny percentage of what's out in the field. That's what we're harvesting. Everything else we're leaving out in that field. Well, when you take a great big corn plant and all you're taking off is a few kernels, you've got a tremendous amount of plant residue that's left in the field. And with that combine, you have choices in how you're going to spread that residue. You can chop it up, you can spread it wide, you can leave a narrow path. What we ideally would like to do is spread the residue evenly behind the combine so as you drive across the field after harvest, there is an even amount of residue everywhere and that's the whole point. Well you think about it, just compare it to your lawn. Say you're out cutting your lawn, you can blow the clippings all to the side, you can drop them straight behind, you can mulch those clippings. Farmers have the same choices out in their yep. fields. But think about it, let's say that you're blowing your lawn clippings all to the side and they're all in one big row. Now you don't go out and rake it up, you just say ah, I'll be back to mowing another week, we'll even it up then. What happens where all that residue laid? Well, the grass is probably yellow underneath. The grass where you didn't drop all the clippings on is probably taller. It's the same problem that farmers end up in a field, only it may be over tens or even thousands of acres. So it can be a really big deal. Now, when we're talking about all that residue out there, there's a few different ways that it can hurt your crop. For example, right away in the early spring, it's pretty cool in the mornings in the spring, even when we're out planting corn. So those corn seeds are just starting to come up and if they hit the surface and they have all this residue to push through, they may not have enough energy to push through. The other thing is, with all the residue laying on top of the ground, the ground stays cold longer. And that's more of a problem for corn because now it lays in the soil longer and giving it more time for diseases and insects to feed on it. So the most important thing that a farmer needs to do when he's out harvesting, obviously, is to get the grain into the tank and get the maximum number of bushels off the field. But a secondary concern is what's happening with that residue. And it's very easy for farmers to get lost in, oh, all the bushels we've got to take off the field and everything else. Else, but farmers have to have a major focus on the residue because if they don't, they end up hurting the next year's crop. Well, one thing that may be hiding in that residue is weed seed for weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to get this one under control later in the show.